Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Lionheart server. It's Ike here with another video, and uh, we're, we're starting things off here in the gaming district. Huh? Hmm. And as you can see, guys, I've been hard at work placing some carpets down, trying to extend the uh, try to extend the pattern uh, to help to help get us a, a place to uh, start off with when we begin to build. And I went ahead and added uh, this pathway and this pathway here to get us started on some some roads. And I'm thinking we'll probably go up probably where that red red, blue, yellow, green one there is. And add another path going out that direction. And that way we're not looking completely symmetrical around here. It's really looking fancy with the rings up. I really love that. And uh, yeah, so and actually there was a end city just over there that I went and raided. And uh, I, I don't know if the end got reset or what. Like I don't, I, I'm pretty sure we had raided everything close by. Unless we just happened to miss that one. But my plan for today is we're actually going to cover up ah uh, booger we're going to cover up a big portion of that um, gap there see if we can land safe yeah this gap here i want to take and fill all it in uh just 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 a layer one layer of it and then we're going to build our build there on top of it and then the function of the build is actually going to be underneath so so I'm going to have to go ahead and build the build, and then that way we're not going to have to do so much digging. We've already got a big hole down there. We can just kind of chisel away at what we need. And uh, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to build a illusioner head right there. And underneath, we're going to build a place where we can go down and battle the illusioner. And uh, my intentions, my, my, my brain, and my thoughts are probably be bigger than what I'm able to do. But what I'd like to do is set it up so that... It's all inclusive. You go in, you drop all your items off, you step through the door, it spawns the illusioner. It also spawns armor and weapons on you so that you know you don't have to lose yours and then they will all be curse of vanishing so that when you leave the room you drop them all off or you know that they're they're removed from you all by command block. And, uh, yeah, so that way you don't have to risk losing your items, or the, the server members won't have to risk losing their items inside of that game, inside of that battle. So it'll all be just for fun and not for, you know, not, not, not just like going to fight the dragon where you might lose your stuff. So anyways, guys, let's, uh, let's roll some music of me placing some in stone and building the head there. And then we may we may jump into building the arena underneath together.
All right, guys, we finished a couple of things on this off the time lapse. I went ahead and this stuff was co cobblestone and I actually moved it up because it'll look better. And so I just, I didn't have any of this on me. I forgot to grab it basically. And then we, uh, we put the road down around it. It kind of makes it look installed, you know? And so our doorways to this thing are going to be on the side. And that means we need to start cutting actually need to cut all this out and make a stairwell down. Don't have any stair material on me. Either. I guess that could be in. And so because all this was already open, it felt like a good opportunity to, to not have to do digging. <laughs> and uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to enter pearl my way out of here. Hopefully not into the void. Wow, that felt scary once I did it, and uh, I've actually been working on a little bit getting uh, getting this stuff out of here, and uh, I've I've started on this storage room down here. If I can get the hotkeys to stop pushing me into the void, and yeah, I think this is going to be pretty nice to have a place to just kind of like drop, you know, drop drop your stuff and and get started. Uh, you know, we could make the, we could make the stairs out of cobble. That would be fine. Um, anything to get stuff out of the chest anyways. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's, let's interpearl that way for the sake of time. I normally don't use interpearls. I, I really think that, uh, might be a beneficial for me to, to pick up on the habit. Um, but it's not something that I've done thus far in my Minecraft career and I didn't do I didn't even get anything other than <laughs> the cobblestone stairs oh man me I'm wonderful I don't know why I went with I mean everything on this build is 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 even so I guess that's why I did I was gonna say I don't know why I went with an even stairwell here but uh, it'll it'll be okay yep I'm gonna use a little more of this steerage than is necessary and I probably oh I'm just floundering around here it's probably not <laughs> what is this guy doing he could you know <laughs> could probably uh, slow down so we can see what he's doing uh, let's let's go up here okay slow down man. okay now let's not use all of our stairs let's do this no! <laughs> no! Professional stair placing. At its absolute best right here, people. Professional stair placer. Okay, so what if we, um... What if this was our level right here? Let's grab a few more of these blocks. Yeah, and so I want the... I want to be able to walk down to a, a middle ground and then continue the staircase down a little more. We got plenty of stairs. We'll be good. A little more down into this open area here where we can build an actual arena. Um, we'll also have to do some command block stuff. I'm not sure if we'll get to all that actually today or not. So we figured. I figured out the size of the arena here, and I'm going to use this black concrete powder. This um. This wall here, I believe, is our decided on a 10 by 20. And this uh, end stone that I just placed in a perimeter here, that will be our uh, wall block. And uh, I'm misplacing like crazy today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, man. Uh, maybe I should have got some more sleep this weekend. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna lay down this in stone, and then we're gonna fill in the floor with black concrete powder. And that way, we we at least have two layers between us and the void. Uh, what? Oh wow, that was wow. Rubber bed, <laughs> rubber bed like crazy. Um, but yeah, this uh, this powder will be the floor, and uh, we're just gonna do like a dark room. We're gonna leave it simple. There's so much work to do, and um, we get a chance we could come back and detail it more. But I think for the whole point of this is for it to be fun and um it's kind of eerie to go down into a solid black room in the middle of the void 
spawn a mob like the Illusioner and then have to fight it right there. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm in the void or what, you know? And uh, But there there will be. I think I'm going to put a Lapis block down and we can spawn the Illusioner on the Lapis block. Anyways, I'm going to fill this in and I'm going to do the walls and everything. And I'll be right back. We got all of the arena finished down here. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like, and then we're going to do the command block stuff. I believe we got time to do that today. So we basically came in and covered all of this with black concrete all the way down, making it look dark and eerie coming down here. Now, this is kind of the only flaw, is that the Endermen are going to spawn in here too. Uh, but, it, you know, if they become a problem, you can actually just run in here and get rid of them. Um, I do have, I am going to put some doors on there, some iron doors. Um, but this seems like a cool place to fight something. So one thing we're going to do is I'm actually go, actually have to go into creative to do this. We're going to place some signs and I'm going to put the command blocks in here. I'm going to line them out. I'm going to go ahead and put them out here, set them all up. Then I'm going to show you guys what I actually used here when I'm done. So I've placed a chest so everybody can put their items if they want. But I'm also going to put an end chest here too so that they can put it in the ender chest. Because if you die, you're not coming back to the end, right? You're going to have to come all the way back out here. So having it in your ender chest might be the better way to go. Um, but you always have the option too of a chest. So I've got some signage. We're going to do the signs. But I'm going to go ahead and do the command block now. Have one command block here to summon the uh, illager. We have one to give us a curse of vanishing, chest plate, leggings, helmet, boots, diamond sword, bow, and the last one down there is oh man, I broke it. Yeah, that. Rid of these so I can walk around. I can't open these in survival, and uh, I only want to go to creative when we need to. But the commands are fairly simple. Um, if you guys really want, I could probably paste this uh, line of commands. Or better yet, I'll do a um, <clears throat> I'll do a tutorial for you guys on how to set up what I've got here, if you like. Just let me know down in the comments if you want. But there's basically, you know, full set of armor, sword... <clears throat> sword, bow, and 64 arrows when you hit this button, plus summoning, summoning the pillager. And then this one, there are two commands here. One's to kill the illager if he's not already dead, and the other one's to clear the inventory of the player. Um, because there should be, and I will go ahead and actually put one in down here. There should be some uh, chest... Um, in this uh, spot here, and I'll go ahead and add those off camera uh, because it was originally here, as you've seen in the last clip. But let's go ahead and uh, I do have a choker here, and we want to go ahead and just place all of our inventory inside of it. That way, we don't lose any. And if we need to come back, we can uh, come back for it. Because we need to add also a uh, a uh, in chest here, so you press this, summons it. It'll give you it'll give you gear just like it did here. All of it is curse of vanishing. That way, if you do die, it just disappears, and that way it's uh, easily reset. Uh, don't have to worry about coming back and despawning anything. So we come here and fight this guy. Only thing you can do is look for particles. He's as he's as accurate as a skeleton, I think. So I'm just gonna try to dance around, see if I can avoid avoid being shot at. It's the, it's the guy with the particles. Okay, I got him. Oh, he was invisible and threw the 
Yay, we got him. Oh, that was a tough fight. He almost had us. Oh, oh. oh anyways, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video, and uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and guys, this has been Ike here bringing you ideas and tutorials to help you, hopefully help you survive and thrive in Minecraft, and until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Happy Minecrafting.